Now, the budget sparked a lot of debate about whether tax was coming down or going up and what impact it would all have on public services. One thing's for sure, public spending's under real pressure and it's going to stay that way. One single mum from Leicester, for example, fears for her child's education after the end of transport for some pupils with special educational needs and disabilities. Nora Fakim reports. If your child has special educational needs, finding the right school is a challenge. Ruth from Leicester thought she had finally found the one that worked for her child, even if it was in Derby. I mean, right from the first day, she absolutely loved it. There are four children in her class and they have a philosophy of unconditional positive regard for every child. With her daughter settled at school, Ruth could return to full-time work and secured a new home. The day she moved, though, there was a shock. A letter came through the door and it was from the local authority and it stated that all transport for young people 16 and over with special needs would be stopped from September and my daughter turns 16 in August. Emotions have run high over this issue, with parents taking their fight to County Hall in the past. One person also campaigning is 15-year-old Ben. I believe the majority of students, especially in my school, uh, 16 and over, uh, simply aren't capable of uh, using public transport or getting to the school independently. Leicester City Council have blamed cuts to their own funding from the government, they told us in a statement. After considerable consultation, we gave parents more than two years' notice of our intention to end this funding. We won't comment on individual appeals, but will consider the educational needs of the young people concerned in all cases. I think you'll see a rise in the number of children that aren't accessing education or, are not, or their attendance is sliding because they're not managing to do it every day. So school transport, just one example there of the kind of cuts now taking effect. But why is it happening? Why have budgets become so tight? One reason, a big deficit. Now, this graph shows what the East Midlands spends in the public sector and what it takes in, which includes income tax, council tax, all of it. And we spend more than we make. Now, that's true across the country. And that gap widened even more during the pandemic. Furlough, public health and helping with the cost of living were all expensive, of course. Now, despite those big national insurance cuts, tax overall is still heading up and public spending is coming down. One type of spending is social protection, things like benefits, or it could be something like free school meals or care in the home. Now, they've drifted up slowly, took a jump again in the pandemic, but now they've nearly levelled off again. Well, one man whose life is part of this graph has found himself a casualty in the battle to balance the nation's books. These letters are quite sort of determined that they're going to go ahead with us, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Sharing frustrations with a friend, Harold Sharp, who has cerebral palsy, relies on care at home in order to live independently. From July, Harold says the amount he pays for the service, which is run by Derbyshire County Council, will go up by £900 a month. It will curb a lot of my activities. Harold previously worked for Derbyshire County Council, retiring after 28 years of service. Since then, he's stayed busy working as a magistrate and a governor at a local hospital. I think I worked very hard, as most disabled people do, and I just feel now that all my efforts to build a comfortable life have gone to rest. In a statement, Derbyshire County Council say for many years we've charged people receiving community care significantly lower rates than allowed for in the national charging guidelines. Unfortunately, this simply isn't sustainable as we continue to see a growing demand for adult social care support. Central government has been on about social care for Get it. and it's about time 
they come up with um, uh, a sustainable solution. That report from Gita Penze.